I wanted to do something that kind of welded the, the science and the human. The perfect fit for me was medicine. I really thought it was cool how, you know, medicine combines science and also getting to know people and getting to help people. And I thought that would be a career path that I think I might like to follow. I had a grandfather who suffered from colon cancer. Seeing the experience my family had with his physicians and some of his nurses and hospice staff, that really kind of compelled me to want to go into the field of medicine. You get to talk to people all the time and you get to hear their stories. I think that's something that I really value. Everyone who comes into medical school is smart and everyone is capable of, of doing the work. It's a matter of do you have the the mindset, you know, the, the work ethic in order to consistently work through the material. I think the characteristics that really allow students to um, excel and shine are diligence and hard work. I want to be able to care for people, like, you know, to my best ability. Um, with that in mind, I want to be able to study well so that I can use what I have for the future. Doctors really are, are leaders and they're leaders to their patients and they're leaders to um, their communities and their leaders you know to the rest of their medical team and their leaders to their students and and uh, so it's important to have skills that allow you help you be successful in that shadowing and doing things in the medical field and seeing what it's like and seeing how awesome it is to be involved in medicine I think that is probably the best motivation you want to can have to keep pushing through some of those tough moments. You want to be a unique individual and so you know certainly doing things like research is very important and certainly studying hard and getting good grades and doing well in the MCAT is important but maybe something that is just as important is to be able to show that you do care about people. Anyone who visits our medical center and sees the kind of investment that the state as well as the university is making in it you really come to a pretty quick conclusion that the value of our degree is only going to rise over time. And I think that was something that was very important to me and that should be important to any pre-med who's thinking about a career in medicine. And we have great new facilities and great new programs and people are really, you know, receptive to your ideas. It's very clear that they really care about the success of the students and um, that was I thought really important in my education. Having that supportive atmosphere here at UK, it was something I really was looking for in a school and UK fit it. The doors are always open and if they ever have time to sit down and talk with you they will. If it's experience you're looking for of volunteering, shadowing them, that's always an option. There's always research going on. UK prepares people very well for their clinical rotations and their clinical rotations prepare people very well to be a doctors and, and be very good doctors. You get a very well-rounded education here and I think it, it really serves you well that you're able to go out and, and perform as a resident anywhere. The faculty and staff here are very willing to let you be involved, willing to help, help you do things on your own, willing to allow you to take an idea that maybe you have burning in your head and if it sounds like a plausible idea, you know, writing up a grant or writing up the procedure and trying it if possible. So um, with that, the sky's the limit. Anything you want to do, it's available, whether it be part of an organization or club, doing research, doing early clinical activities, things like that. It's really available from the first year on. You know, right when you first get here, you start learning how to interview patients and how to do the physical exam. And, it, you know, I just, I guess I didn't expect to be really thrown into, like, the medical field so quickly. You know, I thought maybe, okay, we have a, a couple of years of class and then we'll move over. But you just kind of come here immediately and start preparing. And I really like it. And the patients are so thankful um, that you're there to help them and that's something I love about the Lexington community. Um, I also went on the Ecuador trip and there I got to not only work on my Spanish but also see a lot of the patients with them um, and assist in physical exam and learn how to do a physical exam in Spanish which for me was wonderful. So we were able to you know bring in clinical experiences, hands-on learning um, to the knowledge that the first year students had. You really know how to interact with patients and you um, have really started on clinical decision making and you know you get uh, a lot of things that uh, maybe are not seen on paper but are equally or more important in being a successful physician. It's hard to wake up day to day for a diploma but I think it's easy to wake up day to day 
for, for an education. I love it. I, I mean, you really truly are privileged in the sense that you learn about aspects of people's lives that you would never be exposed to. Um, and additionally, you really get to help them through what can be a very tough time. Um, or there are times to celebrate. Here I am and I'm actually doing it and I'm living it and I'm, I'm a medical student and I'm going to be a doctor in just a couple years, so it's, it's exciting. Some parts were hard, some parts were easy, some parts were fun, some parts were not fun, and, and all that you know sort of makes you who you are and, and helps build your character. And, and so I really, I think a, a lot of that happened during my medical school years, and, and I'm going to take that with me wherever I go. Overall, it's been a really good experience, and I wouldn't change it. On top of it all, typically the people that you're working with or learning with, at least in medical school, are just I mean, phenomenally brilliant scholars and, um, you know, really hard workers. So I just, I love it.